Thank you. It's just so we can sync up the audio later. All right, sound That clap was almost as good as your performance today, Ryan Hardy. Talk to me about that. Yeah, um, we got it going early doors. Uh, had a few chances, and when I get into the game early doors, I like to. Uh, I like being involved in it, so to get into the game early gave me a bit of a confidence booster to go on and get the goals. Talk me through the two goals. Very different. First one was kind of your work down the left and a, and a finish across goal. Second one was a little bit more poachery, maybe. Yeah. Talk, talk to me about them. Yeah, the first one, as you say, I just made a, a, a run off the side of the middle centre half and got lucky. Well, not got lucky, but I made the centre half and then went across goal. Uh, Gaffer always says when you get in position, just go hard and low across the goal and you never know what will happen. And uh, the second one, I seen Jets getting up like a salmon at the back stick, and uh, luckily it fell into me in the middle of the box, and I'm not, I'm not going to miss it there. It was a kind of crazy five, ten minutes when there were chance after chance after chance. You had a couple more, the keeper made a couple of saves. The atmosphere was just great. What was that like to, to be playing in during that, that kind of period towards the end of the first half? It was good. As you said, we kept getting chances and uh, obviously having fans back is amazing. It's what we all play football for, to, to give the fans a bit of a show. And um, no, I'm glad we really did that today. For you and for Luke as well, to, to get off the mark for the season, I know you scored in pre-season, but in competitive football, what does that mean for a striker? Yeah, it's massively important for the confidence. And uh, I think tonight I'd like to dedicate my goals to my stepdad, who unfortunately passed away on Friday. Uh, I got the sad news and I was travelling to the to the Rotherham game, so the goals were for him. I know he'd been watching me tonight, so I'd just like to put that, put that one in there. But as you said, as a, as a striker, it's important to get some goals and uh, that's hopefully got the confidence going of it. You know, I think your stepdad would be proud for that because uh, it was a, it was a top performance. Um, beating a championship team as well for, for you guys, it, a side that would be high in confidence, got promoted last year, must do wonders as well. Yeah, that's that's what um, that's what it is. We come to a championship side, and I think we dominate the game uh, and in the majority of the aspects. We controlled the ball really well. We played forward when we could. We we went in behind when we needed to. We kept the ball when we needed to. I think in most of the game we um, we were on top. Do you have any thoughts on who you might potentially want in the next round? Or have you not really thought about it too much? I haven't even thought about it. Let's just hope it's not a Saturday Tuesday away again. Let's get us a home tie. Let's get us home Speaking tie. of home ties, we finally have a, a league game back at Home Park, which we're hoping will be almost a sellout. Um, you must be looking forward to that. That's what, as I said earlier, that's what football's all about, playing in front of the fans. And um, if you're saying it's not a, a sellout, well, that's what we're all looking forward to. It's Saturday Tuesday home games as well, isn't mm. it? So two home games on the bounce, so let's give the fans a show. Ryan Hardy or Mbappe 2018. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs>